Hello, it's Sarah. Look, you can see I'm coming to life. See on my notebook? That's my frog. Now I'm trying to figure out what to do with his mouth. And I also have to consider that this is going to be outside. I'm just so not used to this. I have the bling chain, which I'm kind of tending not toward. This is my little picture. He's kind of going to look like that. I got his eyes looking decent. I think I'm going to use the rounds as his cheeks, and then I'm going to put a mouth. I'm thinking I'm tending toward these beads. Um, I have red ball chain, and if it were bigger, if it was a bigger gauge, I would definitely be going for this. And that being said, I know that I can color stainless steel with alcohol ink. So if I have a red Sharpie, I could play with that or just use go get a red. I think I might have a red alcohol ink, but I don't know how it's going to hold up outside. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I'm just, and I feel like I want this to be taller. So in other words, this is the width of this and this is, I don't think it's going to be high enough. So then I have these beads that are on this filament still. And I think I'm going to go with this. This is what I'm thinking. I like the gauge of it. They're thicker. There's a mixture of beads in here, and I don't mind that. Because um, I kind of want to make it this bendy little mouth. See how I did that? Um, so, also... I want to consider that I wanted to, originally I thought I was going to outline everything with ball chain to begin with. So I'm going to pull out, this is my number 10 ball chain. I have a lot of different ball chain. I've been collecting these um, different types of materials forever. So this is number 10 and this is really thick. I don't think I'm going to use that. Let me look at my number six. Um, I think this is what's going to look better. And that being said, this is so interesting because the way that, what is her name? Um, Chris Emmert does it is she first puts down her whole, uh, the shape of her mosaic. So basically she would just go around the whole frog and then just fill them in with the little bits of tesserae that you have. Um, oh, I also pulled out some of these beads because I could stack these. Like I could, I'm sorry, I get, I get distracted. <laughs> They're very thin, but I these are glass, and I love the brightness. Like, I could double them up. I don't know, man. I think I'm tending toward the other beads. That And that's the other thing about, I've never used silicone before, and I know that I can build it up. Like, it can, it can stay thick, and these can be, and then when it dries, the beads will be up higher, you know? Um... But I think I'm going to go with my original thought of these as the mouth. Okay. So I think that I decided that. Now, the ball chain. I have to figure this out. I want to make sure these don't come off the wire. Um, all right. The other thing is, because I drew it on paper, let me, this is the shape right here. Where did I have that? This is the shape that's going to fit on my rock. This is how, let me go back up. So my rock is over here. Oh God, it's so heavy. Ugh. I just kind of had this on my desk and thought, so, and this is even a little big, I think. So I have to remember, I can't go bigger. I got to keep it this size. 
so he's he may be growing on me if I'm not careful so let me see what I could do if I do the ball chain I want to make see I want to use whole I have smaller ones of these let me see I could try like these aren't maybe the color I would grab I want to make sure I had the right color but what if I did I just think the bigger ones look so much cuter put his eyes I think I mean I could probably do it with the smaller but and just because that way I could go around everything with the ball chain um do I want to just uh, see that it's looking cuter as I so I have to go to the rock like I'm gonna have to go to the rock but now let me just slide this in here see this has a crease in it that messed me up that piece of paper has a crease in it and it's annoying me I think I could probably put his face on and then put the ball chain see I I am just going through my thought process with you guys where's my crown and then I could put the crown on top of the ball chain um, I think that might be what I'm gonna do I like this size but this kind of looks cute I could use pink maybe I should use pink I'm gonna keep playing and I'll be back all right sorry I had um, I messed up and you guys don't know see that's the magic of YouTube but I had put um, I think I might need more um, I had put it was caulk I got caulk instead of silicone and I knew it because from watching the video I just knew it looked different than the silicone did so I was like this isn't right and after reading the packaging a little better it was the right brand and the right uh, kitchen and plumbing and stuff but it was caulk it wasn't silicone okay so I'm back let me I have oh I have four little pieces of the whites of his eyes and then I'm gonna check it and make sure he's straight uh, I had gotten out the denatured alcohol too and because um, I glued all this down and then I realized it wasn't right I had it with caulk so I got the denatured alcohol out and just dropped all these pieces in the thing to clean them off and it worked and we're back all right so this is I want them to turn a little bit like that and I hope that's good but he looks that looks like little eyes all right next I'm gonna do cheeks and then he's gonna have a smile that goes across then I'm gonna make the shape you can kind of see his legs here um, but I'm gonna make his shape but I think that's cute so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little cheek here I don't know if I'm putting enough on you guys listen it feels like I am it feels like it's adhering you know what I mean like it feels sticky I don't want to put too much that it comes up over the but see that being said where are my tweezers I just want to um I have some tweezers because I don't know what this feels like it's a little no it's good it's stuck all right so that's is that then I'm going to fill that in but let's try this now I'm going to try and make a line so that I can put down a string of beads here. So I'm going to go 
across. And I'm going to do it on this side. See, I'm trying to make it like a swervy line because that's my inspiration for his little face was a piece that I have in the house, and I'll show you, by so um, Sonia Richardson. And he's my foggy, and I love him. All right, I like that. Now, if I can only get this to... Boy, I think I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to cut this because it's like crooked. The, the like wire is bent and it, it's going to mess it up. So I'm going to cut that straight and then we're going to attempt to do this. Now I've seen this on videos. I'm going to push it down where I want it and then pull. Kinda. Now I have to shape it. I think I'd like it to go like that. And then down. I like that. I like that shape. Look at his little smile. Alright, that looks like cheeks. Alright, now I think I'm going to do the ball chain. Before I go any further, I'm going to outline them with ball chain, which is going to be tricky. Um, I think I have to do some more of this with the uh, silicone. I have to take it on a toothpick and just apply it. I really feel like there's definitely a learning curve with this part of the process that I would get better at. Um, so let me just, on camera, I'll just do his, his little head. And let me see. Kirby has something. I don't know what she has. All right, let's see if I can just get a piece of ball chain to go from there. And my head's going to get in the way because I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go here and around. I'm going to cut this so that I can manage it better. I have a ton of it, so... But I kind of want to... <gasps> Look how foggy he looks already! I'm sorry. I get it very excited. Okay, so I'm just going to do that to the other side of his face. I'm going to turn the rock around. I can work upside down for this. Ooh. See, I need to just put some more of the silicone. I think I'm picking up way too much. That would be par for the course for me because I'm an over, overdoer. And then Oopsie. Let's try and cut me a piece, or hopefully, I'm just going to try and go with it. Put this here. Oh dear. It's fudgy. Oh my gosh.
now I'll turn them over and have a look and see if I got them straight. And then I can also pull some of the silicone out of like this area here. Although, as long as it's um, going to be under where the grout is, see this has to come connect to this a little better. Um, that looks good. I don't want to distort the mouth. All right. I think that looks good. Let me see the f this view. Yeah, he's looking very froggy. I'll just fill in that with green. And let's try to get his body on here. I'm going to go off camera and do it. But he looks cute. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm pretty excited. I just really don't know what I'm doing. It feels like, you know, the first time. Anyway, ooh, I just scraped off a big piece of silicone. I put some of that denatured alcohol on this napkin. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to leave that the way it is, and I'm going to put tiles here to make his legs and then I'll make his belly kind of like I think I want to make his belly like gold I was going to make it darker green but I think I want to make it kind of gold or yellow I'm not sure his feet I was looking all over for tiny I don't have any small green rounds like so I wasn't really prepared for a frog the way I could have been um I'm sure I can cut some toes and figure it out and I can definitely go through my stash like I don't have to do it all right now in other words you know I could just do Ooh, I just thought of this idea for the feet instead of giving them toes which I would like to give them because frogs have those especially tree frogs have those cool toes I could just cut another half around and put a foot I kinda think I might do this put a foot there and then use a smaller green for the front feet I think that might be what I end up doing because you know I don't want it to all fall apart it's going outside you know I need to find one that's the right color but I think I'm gonna do that for his feet and I might be able to um, put some ball chain around it too if I do that you know I'm gonna put yep I think that's what I'm gonna do I just have to see if I have the right color that looks like the right color so I'll just cut that in half I'm just using my wheeled nippers and then that looks good I like that for his feet can you see that um, I don't know that I need the ball chain I don't think I do I think I'm just gonna put these on I can kind of butter it like that Ba -da. Oopsie. I think this works. You know, it gets the point across. It's not that, ooh, it's not an intricate design. It's just a gives you the impression type thing. Um, and like I said, like there'll be a, I'm going to do a line of one color coming down his front feet and then his belly and his hind legs will be a different color these will be darker green because they're kind of to set them behind his front legs will be the light green I'll continue that I have some of these light green square tiles um, but that feels good I kind of like that and um, 
because I might put some grasses still. I might want to shoot some grasses up there. Um, I gotta get that denatured alcohol on me because I can feel it. Um, how's he looking? OMG. I want to just push, put it and say, yeah, he's sitting pretty straight. Um, wonderful. All right. I'm really happy with that face. That is super cute. I was thinking of filling in these little areas here and grout will fill it in, but I didn't have any like round green beads. The smallest round I have is a bling. This would probably fit. It's a little big. Um, this, this guy would probably fit. And so like a, um, I don't know which is the top and which is the bottom. These are very cool. I have to get my, um, I might stick one in there, you know, but it's, I'm not gonna, no, the grout will cover it. The grout will be all I need. But if I had some, um, I'll show you what I was gonna, I would definitely use something, um, this size. If I had this in green, these e-beads, they would be going in there and I just don't see any. Like they could be here somewhere, but they're not, you know, I only have these little tiny ones right here. These are not, these are too small. They'll disappear under the grout. So I just don't have them at the ready. So I'm just going to skip that and it'll fill in with grout. So just those little corner pieces. I'm a little sad because I would like to put a little piece of green there. I might just use a piece of tile. I think I might. Let's see. This is getting a little fudgy, you know. I'm getting too, but like here's a little little tiny tile. Um, I think I could cut two triangles. So I'm going to cut this in, in half, like in a triangle, and then I'll cut that triangle in, in half. So see, it's going to be tiny. And I think I'm going to put that in there because, you know, I feel like it. Um, it's like I'm, I just, I just think there's room and I think it would look cute and I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to set it in there. I'm going to stick it right in there. I got to get silicone on here and it's too big. It's still too big. I might have to cut it a little smaller. Anywho, I have to go off camera and cut up a bunch of um, tiles to fill in his body with. And when I get them cut up, I'll be back. All right, he's looking froggy. Oh, this, I just put silicone in here with this little stick. And it is so hard to work with this. Like, it's stickier than the glue. But I think... I'm going to get it. I'm going to not going to give up. I'm just going to keep it moving and really try to enjoy the process. You know the you know the deal. Um I don't know. I'm trying to fit I made a bunch of triangles. That looks good. I'm going to try and fit another And the rock is shaped so sometimes things are going to be sticking up and spiking at me. What am I going to do here? I think that's good. I'm just going to keep going. Mm. Hmm. This one looks a little bit.
I think it's and I got to get down here and make it look like see look I need a tiny little piece to go under there and I might need to pull silicone nope here I see silicone because if it's already started to harden it won't I won't be able to wedge a bead in there or a piece of um, glass so let me cut a tiny sliver like this I think I have one over here no this is a different I'm gonna just go with I think a piece of this will fit in there I'm just gonna oh excuse me dip this in the um well maybe I'm not I'm gonna try to butter it oh boy this doesn't even have a flat part to it I still think I'll be able to get it in there so really what I think I need to do is wait till I understand this better so that I can actually make a tutorial for you because this is not much of a tutorial it's a little bit of you just watching me fiddle around with this until I I need my that heavier here it is There we go. So the silicone is forgiving. It's not fully hardened. So I feel like I have time to, um, I'm just seeing if that, yeah, the denatured alcohol takes this, the um, silicone off the bead a little bit much better than it did with the caulk. <laughs> I probably should have chopped this one up too, but that's okay. I'm going to do a bunch of little pieces under here. And um, I think it'll, it'll blend. So let's see if this will fit in here. I think it will. And the silicone, it, it stays um, sticky for a pretty long time, but I'm finding that I have to squirt out more, more than I thought. I thought it would last a little longer. All right, so now I'm just going to put some triangles over there again. So I'm just going to use this. This isn't the most efficient applicator. I have to kind of turn it and see I don't even know if that's touching the rock. I think once the grout is on there and everything it holds it all together. Alright let me just put some triangles here. I need some more I think and then like I said I'm gonna figure out a color that I'm gonna put um, down his chest I want that to be a little bit of a different color I need a couple more triangles I didn't want to cut too many because you know then I just have a bunch of triangles and I want what if I needed squares or you know some other shape
And I'm using triangles because that's what the class I took, uh, Chris uh, Emmert, she does it with triangles, and I kind of liked it. I liked the way it looked. I mean, I think this is really going to bother me. I might want to take it out because I think that's all I'm going to do, and then I'm just going to pull. I want to put, I think I'll do a little bit more green, actually. Um, but I, I think I want them to have like a different color belly. I don't know what color. And then his rear legs are going to be kind of the darker green. We have a couple more triangles here. There we go. I don't, I'll put one little tiny one there. Um, so I will come back and give you a, a little peek at where he's at when I get him close to done. All right? Because this is just fudgy. And watching me do this isn't much fun. I think he's cute. He's looking froggy. All right, I'll be back. Okay. I put a crown on him. He's cute. I just don't know if it's going to hold or if it's going to work. I am just confused about this whole silicone thing. The silicone is so sticky and it's goopy and it's just different. So if I was working, oops. If it's not fully set up, but if I was working, um, if this wasn't going to be outside, I think I'd just use Weld Bond. I keep like getting it on my fingers and trying to just rub it off and stuff, and I have to use that denatured alcohol. Anywho, like so, see there's silicone over here, and I don't know if I need to get it off. I'm going to be putting grout on it, and I think I'm going to keep the grout kind of just on the peat, like just right around the, but I don't know if I need to move this. I don't know. And I don't want, I don't want my, you know what, I'm going to let it set up and then I'll cut it off after, um, it dries. Like I'll be able to cut it with my X-Acto knife. I changed the color of the back feet to darker green. This is, it did, I didn't have a green that matched, but I think it's good enough. And I made his belly green because I just thought it kind of, I didn't want to put too many colors. But see how there's like, there's glue here. And I also, I think the ball chain might be too small. Um, it's definitely lower than the, the piece. So I, I should have maybe used the 10 millimeter or whatever, number 10 ball chain. This is what the 10 looks like. Where's my hair? I think I should probably pull all that ball chain off and try to do this. It's so much bigger though. I don't even think I'll be able to get it in here. So when I grout, I might end up just grouting over it. I don't know. Live and learn. But see, that's why I wanted to do the Kiwi one second so that I could practice a little bit um, on something else. Um, so... That's it, you guys. I'm going to play around with a flower, maybe. I might put a butterfly. But this is basically it. I will share again when I grout. All right? Thanks for watching.